Aladdin. Once upon a time there lived a poor widow woman and her son Aladdin. One day Aladdin met a mysterious stranger who claimed to be his long-lost uncle. Aladdin ran home and told his mother. The man said he would help make Aladdin rich. The next day the uncle took Aladdin into the desert. They traveled a long way until they reached the foot of a mountain. The man claiming to be Aladdin's uncle was actually a magician in disguise. He lit a fire and said some magic words, and in a puff of smoke a door to a cave in the mountain appeared. The opening was just large enough for the boy to fit through, but it was much too small for the magician. The magician sent Aladdin into the cave. Do not touch anything, said the magician, only bring me the lamp. Aladdin entered the cave. On the floor he found a ring, and despite the magician's orders, he picked it up and placed it on his finger. Deep in the cave, Aladdin found the lamp. Aladdin took the lamp back to the magician. Hand me the lamp, ordered the magician. Aladdin realized it was a trick and that the magician meant to trap him. I will only give you the lamp once I am out of the cave, he cried. The magician was angry and blocked the cave entrance with a boulder, trapping Aladdin inside. Aladdin rubbed the ring on his finger and to his surprise a genie appeared. Master, your wish is my command, he said. Aladdin wished to go home and soon he was back with his mother. Aladdin's mother told him to sell the lamp so they could buy some food. As Aladdin was polishing the lamp to get it ready for sale, a powerful genie appeared. Master, your wish is my command, he said. Aladdin wished for a feast for himself and his mother. Aladdin used the magic of the lamp to become rich and powerful. He married the daughter of the sultan and they lived in a grand palace. One day the magician heard the story of Aladdin and visited the palace to find the lamp. The magician tricked Aladdin's wife into swapping the old lamp for a new one. With the power of the lamp, the magician transported the palace and the princess to a faraway land. When Aladdin returned he found the palace gone, but he used the genie in the ring to take him to his wife. Aladdin and the princess took back the magic lamp and banished the magician from the realm. Aladdin asked the genie to move the palace back to their home and they lived happily ever after. This is the end of the story. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe our channel. Bye.